Hey, welcome back friends. Got a game changer for you today. This is the Brinkley 3100Z model and yeah, I'm not going to you're not going to see my face much. We got a lot to go over in this video and a short amount of time to do it. This is uh, basically taking some automotive features and bringing it to the RV game. You're going to want to watch this one. Hope you stick around. All right, guys, normally we start from the exterior, but we're going to start on the interior of this one and yeah. This is, uh, this is a new level of RV decor that we haven't seen before, just to be quite frank. And what I love about it, now, you know, I'm a form over function, or a function over form guy, and there's a whole lot of form in here, but there's a lot of function in here as well. well I'm gonna try to go through it as quick as I can. I know everyone has shortest engine spans, but yeah, there's a lot going on in here, more than just a pretty picture. Um, first thing we'll start with is these, the new windows in these Brinkley's. They're, they're like your residential windows. They're gonna be square, basically. No, no, no more valances. Yeah, I mean, it's just, people have been waiting on this for a long time. A lot of people don't like the valances. And yeah, that's the first thing that sticks out when you walk in to this unit. Speaking of the windows, you've got it, this, it's got a shade down right now. And the way these work, there's your blackout shade. And then there's, no shade so let me do that again so this is a shade and this is a blackout these are magnets all right so if you want just some shade you pop that up right there magnetic catch want some blackout come down just like that that's throughout the coach that's something we haven't seen before i really really like that and uh, yeah one of the the game changing features you'll see in this unit now you're going to know the, notice these little discs around this unit in certain places. Those are magnets. So a lot of people use Velcro. What's going to happen here is this is a backer for that. If you want this to be a four-person seating, you're going to have two chairs over on this side. And then that little uh, ottoman over there can slide over here for a bench. And that's going to be your backer, and that's going to magnetically attach. I love that. No Velcro to worry about. Give me those magnets, baby. Love it. You're gonna notice the, the furniture looks like residential furniture. That's a goal for Brinkley. That's what they wanted, and they do a great job of it. These end tables here, a lot of times you won't get end tables. Nice little storage here, and then back here, you've got your charging ports. Of course, you've got your modern looking lighting all throughout. Little things, you know, I just did a little tour with a Brinkley rep, and they love they love having the same warmth of lighting and so throughout the unit there's no there's no differences in the color of the lighting so some places in some units will have leds other places incandescent there'll be different colors and yeah throughout this unit all the lighting is the same color which is a big deal brooke is actually in lighting and she she can attest to that she loves that storage over here you got your fireplace good to go there underneath your island over here got some under store un, under island lighting right there big TV over here still even though that's a smaller window you have still got those shades those aren't blinds a lot of time when the stoves at those are gonna be blinds right coming over here in your pantry they wanted your pantry to be adjustable so not everyone works not everyone uses their pantry the same so you've got adjustable shelves this is a huge pantry and every shelf is adjustable and they even thought to put an outlet right there with lighting. You got backlighting back there. It's a big deal, guys. It's, it's crazy. It really is. Tire pressure monitoring systems come standard on these. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's what this is. Extra lighting up top. Just a really, really good looking unit. You, you, you walk in these and you say, okay, this is a game changer right here that's that, that's just covering up your fuses they didn't have to do that this is covering up your little convenience center right here solar charge controller over there max air vents got a dimmer a lot of people love having dimmers already there that was the one thing that uh shoe storage right here one thing that the rep from brinkley jeremiah he kept telling me was you know we did a lot of little things that people are going to do in three to five years anyway and they have, and you'll see that some of that in the exterior as well. Now, bathroom, recessed medicine cabinet. You didn't stick all the way out here. You know, it's all it's recessed back in the wall. 
and yeah, good to go. You got recessed lighting. I don't know if you can see that back there, but that's a like a neon light back there, lighting up the shower. Got a good looking shower head here. Got a little shower set up. Talk about fancy. Now, here's something I love, a function situation. Brass fittings throughout the coach. You're gonna see brass fittings throughout this coach as well as shutoffs to every major area. That's a huge deal. Another thing I really love, your potty paper. This is on a magnetic catch. So you can bring it out here if you want to, or when you're going down the road or just leave it there, magnetic. I just love it. I just love it. All right, going into the bedroom. Got some cool stuff in here as well. You've got your shelves up above here. So if you got CPAPs, cell phones, all that good stuff up here. And you've also got, if your CPAP's a little bit bigger, you can see right here, sorry, I've got on backpack. This is a magnetic extension. So that magnetically attaches to that, just like that. If you want a little bit more room, you've got it. Motion sensor closet. This came on as I was walking by, and man, they really know what people want in a coach, a place to put your Dyson. Got some plugs in here already. Shoe storage, I assume. Little stuff like this. That's incredible. I mean, I love that they put that there. So many different things you can use that. Your dryer's ready to go. Your washer's ready to go. Again, you can see brass, not plastic. I love that. Thank you. Lots of little things. So storage a lot of times with these units uh this you know there's your your dressers a lot of times you'll have a little area here where you can flip up and you have a storage area right there but then that means you have to clear off the whole entire top of that dresser well now you can just slide this out just like that and you've got your little area there there's your extension for the other shelf on the other side of the bed so i thought that was that was really really genius uh, we'll talk about the windows in a minute. They're square windows. Don't see that very often at all, I guess, really, at this point. And yeah, they don't use any putty on the walls. I think that's a big deal. You know, a lot of times you'll see putty marks. Somebody, you know, they're filling in all the putty, putty marks. You don't have that in these units. They're very proud of that, and they should be. Now, one thing I was, I'm, I have a love-hate with this already. I'm not sure about this. I know why they put it in there. I know they want to hide it, but I'm worried about towels hitting it. That, this is going to be your tankless water heater. I've used these Furions. They work great. But yeah, I'd be interested to see if that may be better served somewhere else. Maybe. I don't know. But I, I like that they hit it. They're thinking about it. Brass all over the place. I love that. I know Brooke loves that. She loves she loves that look. But yeah, here you go. Here is a just a nice picture of the inside of this unit, a Brinkley 3100. This is the Model Z. And man, they have just knocked this out of the park. Let's go outside. All right, guys, let's check out the exterior of this bad boy. I'm at the Tampa RV show. You're gonna hear some background noise, so apologies in advance. But yeah, you've got your front cap here. Now, instead of being little LED strips, these are automotive type recessed lighting. So you can see when we get up close, this is actual uh, lighting here in this front cap. So it's nice, they've, they've thought about a lot of little things with this unit. Uh, the pin box, they've covered up all of your hardware up here in the pin box. As we go underneath, you've got a sincere, sincere inverter prep right here. You can see the cables are already there. There's your solar charge controller. I believe he said 600 watts. Don't hold me to that. I'll link everything in the description box below. Generator wiring is already here so sincere prep down here in this front storage and i think that is awesome over here more business in it's a little breezy today again i talked about brass hardware all over the place and yeah this is all come standard these already come standard this is 65 foot of water hose that comes standard nautilus system yeah they've just this is a game changer for sure. Now, electronic leveling, you've seen that all over the place, but look how they've angled it out towards the user. It's just a little tiny thing that didn't have to do that they, that they did. You've got your 
see a little bit of the frame construction here, aluminum frame. They've got the, the floors lined, and uh, yeah, you've got your heat duct right here for a dedicated heat duct down here. All of this material, you can mount racks to the interior of this garage right here. So we'll talk about this here in just a second as well. But yeah, this is a great, um, great pass-through storage here. You can see over there, be hard to see on the other side, again, shutoffs in all your major areas. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal. Let's head over to the other side, I'll keep you going. All right, let's get to your campsite. Now, something important he wanted to talk to me about was you've got 30 pound tanks standard, but your mounts also work for 20 or 40 pound. So if you get in a pinch, you only got a 20 pounder at the gas station, got to go get one of those, you're going to be good to go. You've got a shower. Here's your press through again. You've got a shower on this side. So what better way to wash off your shoes than on your campsite, right? Instead of just having one over that side where all the plumbing's at, they took the trouble to put one on your campsite as well. I also give you access to some of your the guts of the rig. So these are just sliding panels. So instead of having to take a screwdriver and pop off some panels, You've already got access to all of that. He even said they just pop right out pretty easily so you can gain, you know, you can see the whole thing and you can get in there and work on whatever you may need to work on. But I, I love this pass through. There's another shot of those cutoffs, all right? And another shot of those brass fittings. It's a big deal. You got your latest, greatest, more ride step aboves here. These are the folding versions. And then you've got, of course, your telescoping handrail right there all of this comes standard guys so you guys know we've done a door upgrade on our unit we put in the screen defender the screenshot the screen assist all of that already comes standard all right and not to mention you've already got a thin shade right so yeah it's you've already got all that stuff coming down through here you'll notice this is one of the most interesting things about this unit for me there's no silicone on this unit they use an automotive grade type seal on all of their seals it looks like you don't see any silicone on a ford or a chevy or anything like that or an audi or whatever uh, no silicone on these units they're going to have more details about that up on their website soon you've got your cre 3000 so you've got the brinkley wheels back here you've got cooper 14 plies standard you got your heavy duty leveling over there it's not the skinny cheap ones I'm glad they did that. Rack companion slides here and on the other side. Look at those square windows. It's too cool. So I'll, now the, only this part's a window, right? But that that part's a decal, so it just makes it look super sleek. If you're looking at it, the windows look big, and they are big. They're not quite as big as the black area. It definitely makes it stand out. Even the windows here on the slides they didn't cheap out and put on the normal windows you see just a really good looking unit back windows are the same two inch hitch storage underneath slam latches tail lights look tail lights blend in with the with the uh, graphics just a really cool looking unit guys and I wish I wasn't here next to the bathrooms you could you'd really be able to get a, a better idea of how cool this unit is I think they stole our logo we're gonna have to talk to them about that I'm just kidding now another cool thing a lot of times we have magnetic magnetic doors they put these black magnets up here well not here they have the white ones to blend in just little stuff right Super cool unit, guys. I walked in this thing, I'm like, okay, this is a game changer for sure. Game changer gets thrown around so much, but uh, this truly is one. Later, we will be doing their toy hauler. So if you wanna see that one, this is the Model G. Make sure to subscribe. But yeah, the 3100 Model Z from Brinkley. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you can get to a show and see one of these bad boys, it will be worth your time. See ya.